Hello, this is Jack from Historical Archery, and today we have this war bow, not a spear, a war bow, made by Archery Bowman from the United States. Very hunky puppies. This is 150 pounds at 28 or 185 at 32. Let's see. Um, chunky boy. This bow is very, very tall. Um, and I think it's more designed for the 32 inch draw lens because this is, even for a war bow, this is much longer than it should be. It's an oversized one. But, uh, so if, you have a, if you're a super tall dude, I think this would be a better, um, better suited for you. Um, if your draw lens are in the 32 inch here. If your 32 inch is here, I think that's a pretty good, this is a pretty good bow for you, if you can pull it. It's made of hickory with buffalo horn. A very American bow, to be honest, because hickory is American, uh, the horn's American. I've reviewed similar bows before, but this one, the main difference is it's not a laminate. It's pure self bow. Why do I have something like this? Uh, you guys know why I have something like this. Um, why do you want to use these American materials? Well, I live in North America, so this is a lot cheaper than a U-bow. Um, especially when I bought at the time, I wasn't in the West Coast. So U is, I mean, U is just a lot more expensive in the first place. Um, but this Chunky Boy, um, it, it's still a decent price. And it's not designed to be efficient. If you're buying a bow of 150 pounds, I don't think you care about efficiency. You care a lot more about, I think, using this as a strength bow to train. And that's really what this is intended for, is to, for working out, building muscles, working up to the strongest bow you can get. I think that's the main purpose of this. Or to use it as a spear. I'm just kidding. When it comes to Mary, when it comes to English longbows, most of them were made of yew. But of course, yew started running out and then they had to start importing other things like, I mean, they had winch elm in England. They started using ash. Whatever they could get their hands on that can become a war bow, they, they did that. Um, I mean, they tried to import as much yew as they can, but there's a certain amount of cost involved here, we're talking, and you don't want to get it too expensive, right? This is proof that other bows can work. It's just not as efficient. This is not a bow designed for shooting. It's a bow designed for weightlifting. <laughs> it's a, think of it as a training weight. And I, I mean, if you're getting to the 185 at 32 inch mark, you're getting close to world records. So. If you want this kind of bow, you probably are interested in that kind of niche. So I think that would be the main reason getting this. Or just getting a big bow because you feel like it. Some people just like big bows. I don't know what they do with it. Maybe they sleep with it at night. I Do it, whatever you want to do with these big bows. It's your choice, your life. Uh, if you want one, go get it. I mean, it's a big dude bow. Like you, I, it, I'm sure you'll figure out what to do with it. There's a lot of things. In terms of historical accuracy, this is best represented as a training bow for archers to get up to draw weights, to whatever draw weights they want to get into. That would be the best context of using these kind of bows, um, which would have likely been done. Because if all the logistics of the efficient bows were used for warfare, while well, the inefficient bows were excellent as working out weights. Oh, yeah. <sighs> well, just like the good old days, we're shooting at super close range with a heavy bow and probably a lot of people are going to call me overbowed, but it's one of those bows, you know. Man, it's been a few years doing stuff like this and, you know, I want to thank you guys for watching and, I mean, I don't, I don't want other people getting hurt. So, like again, telling people, don't do what I'm doing, don't get overbowed, make sure you shoot a bow that's right for you, um, that's safe for your draw weight. But for YouTube entertainment, I mean, I'm doing this. And as you can see, those veins really make the arrow shoot not straight. But why do I use veins? They're just cheap. These are cheap carbon arrows, um, and you put salt inside uh, with some string mixed in. It gets that right weight. When it comes to shooting these kind of 150 pound bows, I don't think accuracy matters as much. Sure, the, the feathers will make this arrow a lot straighter, but I like practice arrows that are just cheap to do, and if they break, I don't care, that kind of deal. Um, I don't, feathers just cost extra, and I think these veins are just good enough for the purpose of what I do, and they're not the best spine. I mean, this is 200 spine, it's kind of too, like ideally you want 100 spine. But you can really see the arrows, they, they go, 
on the side. And that's because how thick the grip is and how much feathers there is. There's no feathers. The veins have more density, so they move more to the right. And that's why you see it angled. With a, uh, with a, with feathers, this would do much better. See if I can get a bullseye. I can feel my muscles burning now, which is actually, it's good for what I have right now because it's a nice balance of getting it like enough for building more muscle versus completely injure yourself. So you gotta get that nice balance and that's very important for the training with this. Uh, you don't wanna overbow yourself. I mean, I already overbow for modern archery standards, but in this kind of context, like it's still, it's good enough that it will, I'll still heal after a week or two, but I don't wanna over push it and push it so much that I get permanently injured. Oh, I can really feel the forearms now. That's it for today. Yeah, I can feel it now. That's enough training for today. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. I think this is an excellent workout bow, but treat it like weights in a gym. And don't treat it like a shooting bow because it's really inefficient. Thank you so much, Archery Bowman. This specific workout bow, I think, is really good, but he also makes much more efficient bows, uh, much shorter, much slimmer at the limbs, even for these kind of weights. It's just the specific one I asked is it's more overbuilt because I want a bow that lasts a lot longer and I really don't care about efficiency when it comes to a workout bow. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Jack from Historical Archery and stay tuned.